Welcome to this training module, Enthalpy and HVAC Performance. Sensible heat only tells us part of the story in cooling. Why is that the case? Well, when we are cooling, we're removing not only temperature or dry bulb heat, but we're also moving, removing some moisture. And so sensible heat only tells us uh, one part of the story. The moisture heat that's being removed has to be calculated using the latent heat formula, which is what we'll discuss next. Latent heat, from its root word, latent, means hidden. And it's called hidden heat because it can't be measured easily. It can't be measured by a simple dry bulb thermometer, the way you can measure sensible heat. It's the heat that's contained in the moisture of the air, which again is very difficult to measure, but it is possible. The more humid the air is, then the more latent heat exists. And latent heat is also calculated in BTUs per hour. Okay, let's pause for a second and talk about measuring moisture. Moisture in the air has to be quantified in order to calculate the latent heat removal. So it's maybe hard to think about there being moisture in the air, but if you've ever been on a humid day looking outside and you kind of see a haze in the air, maybe it's a foggy day, that's a really good example of moisture in the air. But even if you can't see the moisture in the air, it's still there, especially in humid climates like the Southeast United States. The unit for measurement of the moisture, the actual moisture in the air, is grains of water per pound of dry air, or grains per pound. So what is a grain? Well, a grain is a very small unit of measurement for moisture. In fact, there are 7,000 grains in one pound of water that gives you any reference point. So we're talking about very small amounts of water, but they have a huge effect on the heat content of air. This is also called in psychrometric specific humidity. Now that differs from relative humidity. Specific humidity measures the actual moisture in the air, the actual number of grains of moisture in the air without the influence of air temperature. But relative humidity compares the moisture in the air as a percentage of how much moisture the air could hold. So it's important to understand the difference between specific humidity and relative humidity. Think of it like a sponge. If you have a dry sponge and you pour some water on it, let's say you pour uh, a cup of water on a very large sponge. The cup of water is your specific humidity. When you pour that into the sponge, that's your relative humidity. How much water that that sponge can hold compared to how much water is actually inside of it. So it's a percentage. So specific humidity, again, is the amount of water in the air or the grains of moisture in the air. And relative humidity is the percentage of moisture in the air, in the air compared to how much moisture the air could hold. With that knowledge, we can talk about the latent heat formula. It's used to calculate how much heat in the moisture of the, of the air is being removed by an air conditioning system. In order to calculate latent heat, we're going to need the following information. The grains of moisture in the air in our return side and our grains of moisture on our supply side. So how many grains are we starting out with before our air uh, passes through the evaporator coil? And how many grains are present after it leaves the evaporator coil? And just like the sensible heat formula, we'll need to know how many CFMs of air we're moving. Now, the, when we see GD, that's grains difference between supply and return. So if you remember the sensible heat formula, we were looking for temperature difference between supply and return or our temperature split. Now with latent heat formula, we're looking for our grains of moisture difference between supply and return. So it's a similar concept. Instead of temperature, dry bulb temperature this time, we're looking at grains of moisture difference between supply and return. So here's our formula. We again see the letter Q, which means our heat. And that little L next to it means that we're talking about latent heat. So latent heat equals grains difference, grains of moisture difference, times our CFMs times a 0.68 constant. 
So just like this, the sensible heat formula had a constant that appears every time, so does the latent heat. Only this time, it's 0.68. So how do we calculate what our grains of moisture difference is? Well, we have to go to the psychrometric chart or use a psychrometric app. Well, it's a little easier to visualize what we're doing on the psychrometric chart. And a lot of technicians get intimidated by this chart. There's a lot of lines are going in a lot of different directions. Uh, but the psychrometric chart is useful because we can plot points on the chart that represent the properties of air. And so it's uh, not practically possible to measure grains of moisture in the air using instrumentation. So we're going to plot it on the psychrometric chart. If we know our dry bulb and wet bulb temperature, then we can plot a point on the chart and get our grains of moisture from this chart. In order to plot a point on the psychrometric chart, we need to be able to measure the dry bulb and the wet bulb temperature of the air. An instrument that can do that is called a hygrometer. It can measure both dry bulb and wet bulb temperature. And you see two examples of hygrometers that technicians use in the field. One's made by Fieldpiece, the other one is made by Testo. There are others, they're very accurate, they're affordable, and it's important to have two of them, that way you can take both your supply and your return air readings simultaneously. So now that we have a set of hygrometers, we can now use these and plot these points on a psychrometric chart, and then we can understand what our grains of difference is between our return and our supply. So the same air conditioning unit that we've started talking about is running 75 degree dry bulb, 63 degrees wet bulb temperature. Let's go ahead and plot these points. Here's our 75 degree dry bulb return. Here's our 63 degree wet bulb. So here's our return operating point. When we carry that operating point all the way across to the right, we get to our grains of moisture you know, of our return, which is 65 grains. Now let's talk about our supply. Here's our supply dry bulb, 55 degrees. Our wet bulb is 50 degrees. So here's our operating point. And when we carry that all the way to the right, we arrive at 45 grains of moisture. So what's our grains difference? It's going to be 20 grains difference. The difference between 65 and 45. That's our grains difference that we're going to plug into the latent heat formula. So now let's plug these points into our latent heat formula. That air conditioning system, as we just discussed, is removing 20 grains of moisture at 1200 CFM. So what is the latent heat removed? We're going to plug these into our latent heat formula. Again, here's our formula. And here's our numbers plugged into that formula. What do we arrive at? 16,320 BTUs per hour, or 1.36 tons. So, so far we've discussed sensible heat and latent heat. And now we can put the two of those together to arrive at total heat. 